All right, guys, just hit another vid for you today. All right, so we're gonna cover off on how to clean up this internal shoulder rotation, like, and really working on the abduction and shoulder scapular retraction, which is basically that movement from that internal rotation to external rotation back to there to a proper seated position. To get into that position, if you already have a bad bout of kyphosis, which is basically, in short, internally rotated shoulders, which is just the very mild symptoms of kyphosis, um, basically, you have to do some sort of myofascial release in the upper trap, mid, mid trap, and along the rear deltoid. So basically, you wanna be mass massaging out from here to about here. And the way you do that is either you get someone to do it for you, i.e. a partner, or you can get a lacrosse ball or something something very hard to get really in there just, just to release that upper trap. And that's really gonna help with that external rotation. This is how we get into that position. And then given that, the, sh the uh, exercises that you can do is really focusing on when we're doing the cable row, that forward rotation and then pulling back and squeezing around that 12 to 15 reps, especially on hypertrophy day, okay? When you're shooting for the higher rep ranges, it's so one thing you really wanna focus on, rolling that shoulder forward and then rolling it back and squeezing and contracting and holding for like two to three seconds and then releasing it slow, okay? So you really wanna focus on rolling your shoulder forward, pulling the shoulder back, shoulder blades together, and holding, contracting the muscles hard you can for at least two to three seconds, and then go back out. And then do this 10 to 15 times, and then over the next couple of weeks to months, this is really gonna help with your shoulder position. And we will really strengthen that rear delt, okay? The rear delt and lateral delt is going to get a really good workout along with um, the scapula and rhomboids. So this is really going to stretch out this posterior deltoid muscle which is about here because you've already loosened up the trap so you're actually, you're actually able to manipulate the shoulder girdle all right so once you've done the myofascial release it takes like two to three minutes pretty much you just get a ball you lean against the wall and you just massage out your trap like to, you pretty much just roll and find where it's really tight like you know where you're tight in your traps you can feel it because you're like you like this, it just doesn't feel right, all right? So once we realize this, so once you're in a good position, that rotation forward, that rotation back, this is really gonna stretch out the actual posterior deltoid, so that back deltoid muscle, which actually is the main culprit of being really, really elongated for people that have like forward some shoulders. So working that, and when you actually work the muscle out, it's gonna become tonic. So it's gonna become tight. So that's gonna become tight. And then you'll notice doing this progressively over a few weeks that this is gonna roll the shoulder back and you're gonna have a better posture. So my fascia release with a massage ball, get someone to massage out your traps. You don't have to be a masseuse to do this. Just tell them to get their thumbs in there and just dig in as tight as they can to where it hurts and just hold it, release it, hold it, release it. And you instantly, like five, 10 minutes after the massage, you'll feel heaps more movement in your shoulders. So you're doing this, rolling forward on the shoulders. So you do this, even when you do bench press as well in the lighter, lighter days, roll the shoulder forward, roll it back and squeeze the shoulder blade together. And you do this for 12, 15 reps on hypertrophy day. And then the number one best exercise to strengthen up this, the back deltoid, this posterior delt, is reverse flies. Or you'll see in the video at the end here, the actual fly movement of me on a bench and actually really targeting that posterior delt. So you really want to focus at the squeeze at the top of the exercise. You want to hold that for about two seconds. So up quick, hold, down slow. Really focus on that contraction because this is another accessory exercise that's really going to help with that shoulder position and give you that full rounded 3D uh, rear delt physique, okay? It's really going to make a big difference in physique and just everything about your body like anatomically and physically. Try not to hyperextend your, your, your arm. So up just a parallel to there. Yeah, good. So up and hold. One more. So in itself, this posterior delt exercise, pretty much it's a lateral raise, but it's a lateral raise on an angle, which actually more so focuses on the posterior delt. This is an accessory exercise. And you'll find that this will roll your shoulders back and actually 
give you a more fuller physique because generally when you just do a lot of pressing movements you mainly say so when you do a lot of bench press shoulder press you mainly just hitting this uh, anterior delt the forward delt as opposed to hitting because it's three muscles you got posterior a lateral uh, sorry anterior lateral posterior so forward side back so these two the side and the back usually don't get much love so show them some love over the next couple of weeks to the next couple of months and you'll notice a massive fucking difference especially in that uh like that 3d delta effect especially in your physique so physique gains works on your posture and you'll notice like when you actually do weighted chins you'll have more you'll have a lot more movement and your your overhead position like this will be nice and straight and you won't be you won't be in a shit position you'll be feeling good you'll be feeling strong